Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today on the SEC ESPN Network, it's college softball, SEC style. The nationally ranked Arkansas Razorbacks take on the nationally ranked LSU Tigers in the final game of this three-game series. And didn't come back to, to haunt the Tigers, but once again, a little sloppy right there. And too much speed to catch Reagan Johnson. Evelyn wind, if you're a pitcher, you like this wind. No home runs have been hit this weekend. And look it's at this because, ooh, Now look the throwback here. and out. Pleasant's applying the tag to Reagan Johnson, who had overrun second base. And a very nice recognition by. Get the hitters to swing at a bad pitch. The 3-1 pitch tapped toward the left side. Pleasant's cannot make the short hop pickup. The ball pops up into the air, and that's going to be an error on her. And you got to commit to it and hope, hope it bounces your way. How big is that pickoff, though? Briggs second runs base. a long way to get it and throws it back to the infield. Runners on the corners after the tag. They've got runners at first and third. But Do the Razorbacks. Two outs. The turn of the tide that they need because they have not had much luck. Gutierrez gets to it from her position at first base and takes the pop up. Pretty much everything, isn't it? Yep. She's only had three decisions, a two and one record, and this is blasted into the gap. It two hops the wall. Sierra Briggs is on her way to second base and she opens LSU's bottom of the first. Rudity smacks it well to center field, but it is caught in front of the warning track by Reagan Johnson. And once again, I think the win had a lot to do with that. Up and they come consecutively. Petty chops it to the right side. And the play is made by Kylie Halverson over to Bree Ellis. And the 0-2 pitch to Gutierrez. Smacked up the middle. Kamenzin has it, makes the throw over to first base. And has had three straight games with an error. We were mentioning how rare it is. And uh, our research team here at uh, Tiger Productions has come up with that graphic for the half, I bet. Burzon will claim this herself. So Kramer pops up to the pitcher, and this is Hannah Kamenzend. That's a base hit. That ball hung up in the upper part of the zone and was there for the plucking. Lauren is hitting 145. She's been about a three-quarter time starter at shortstop and is a good defensive player. And the 2-2, swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch. Kamenzen strikes out for the second straight inning. Burzon and company are at the 3-1 the pitch. The off. read off of the bat is her, is definitely her advantage. She's a base runner. LSU has, a, Taylor has gone 0 for 6 in the series. That's hit sharply to the right side, but it's playable by Halverson, the short, uh, the second baseman. And pops this one up. Ooh, and it almost that. came out of the glove of Halverson, but she's able to hold on. Yeah, she had to make a circus catch there. That ball, the wind just kept pushing it. Johnson has time and room in center field and makes the catch. So three up, three down after the walk to Newlands. Into, into the tournament, but sometimes they don't take the overall winner. So Johnson, it's just a pet peeve. Johnson walks on five pitches. Are the Tigers being too careful with her? Ooh. Oh, look at here. Now that was strange, but Gutierrez does get the out at second base on the force with some very quick reaction and some very quick thinking. It amounts to a 3-6 fielder's choice. But once again, her reactions are just so good. Wild pitch here. Drop ball. 
Just There's missing. There's ball four. Not getting those corners. All SEC second team last year. She's two for seven in the tournament. And Newland is able to gallop to her right into foul territory and make the catch. Runners at first and second with two outs. Gamble at the plate. He's way ahead of that pitch. Manning moves to her left, makes the pickup, and then wisely makes the force play herself at third base. And once again, Bert, they will have Liberty next weekend in Tiger Park. Manning sends a dribbler to the circle. It's grabbed by the pitcher Reese Berline and turned into an out. Allie Newland, 1 for 7. Briggs, 0 for 6. Taylor Pleasance, 0 for 6. When you see that off of the leading hitters of the team, you're not going to win too many ball games. No, that does. And that wind is really just whipping straight in. Rudy bangs one off the first baseman. She recovers and takes the throw back from Halverson, who got the carom. Did and unlikely to be in postseason. Ooh. But the, the 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 point is, you could just take what we saw and make a very very valid entry into the SEC uh, to the postseason. And the great Hall of Famer. It was fun to watch play shortstop. Here we've got a little chase in situation going. Just throw the ball to first. The NCAA Regionals are the 17th, 18th, and 19th Ooh, of May. Got her. And the Super Regionals are the 23rd, 24th, 25th. And that's the third wild pitch of the day for Burzon. Kind of overthrowing that drop ball. This has popped up. Manning is calling for it. And once again. Teddy might have swung at a ball there that looked high and tight. And she hit it near the handle and rolls out to the right side. But you got to try everything. Superstition. Had her played perfectly. Kamins and uh, for the second time in this game throws out. Gutierrez. It could be hurting after this. The 3-2 pitch to Newland. Ball four. That walk comes with two outs. It's the second pass from. Pleasance goes down on strikes, and that ends the inning. A runner left at first base. The throw to first base, and the strikeout, and the out at first. Good job by Gutierrez, setting up on the, uh, in foul territory to receive that throw. There is room for Newland, and there's the third out. So a three up, three down inning for the first time today by Burzon. I need you know, all, a 4K. All the big numerals and all of that. I need a 4K phone of a TV. Well, it's a four-pitch base on balls. So Daniel, who is not a big target, bombs away sometimes in that park. Nice play. Out at second. Safe at first. Nice turn. The game has come so far with double plays. The footwork is just excellent. South. She hasn't had a lot of base hit opportunities this year. Or Late appearances are limited. That's off the pitcher. Manning is on her way to first base and makes it without a throw. So Manning, who had an RA of under three, 56 and two-thirds innings. Oh, that's, that's a fair a ball. Uh, Runner coming to the plate. The throw is off, off the mark. Good throw would have had her, but Easily. that throw was off the mark. Line side. And no chance for the catcher to recover and apply the tag. And if you bet Torini, you send her. You got to make something happen. And for once, and for once, you know, it's on the Tiger side. It's has fly to center and bounced out three to four to three. 
And there's a walk and the bases are loaded. Tigers were generous to the Razorback yesterday uh, with walks to the left side. Each team has three hits. LSU leading one nothing. Ground ball to the shortstop, the throw to the plate, the force out there. Right Six side. to two on the put out. Hit it to the right side. We play in the bottom of the fifth. LSU has finally broken through, leading one nothing. Johnson coming on and makes the play in left field to retire the side as a starter. And she'll field it as it dribbles into her glove in the circle. Halverson is retired. Her the 3-2 pitch. Ball four. There's one midweek game remaining. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Way ahead of that off-speed breaking changeup. It's a dandy. <laughs> She's going to be on my team. Right back to Burzon. The throw over to first base. And there's the third out in the sixth. Burzon throws another shutout inning. She has six to her credit. The Tigers lead it one nothing as we... That's wrapped sharply, but Halverson is there at second base. Yeah, you can't hit it any harder. Pleasance rolls it down to first base. Well... This is looped out toward right center field. It could be trouble. It's down for a base hit. Yep, it was in no man's land. Welcome, Judy. The corner. Yep, all three have been very, very good, I think. There's ball four. The inning is extended. So a two-out hit by Bergeron. A one-nothing lead for LSU. The shortstop is calling for it. Cammons and backing up and moving to her right makes the play. And the inning is over. So we go to the seventh. Two up for this. Got her. Swing and a miss. That pitch was floating on the outside part of the plate. Does not wear batting gloves. The 0-2 pitch, dribble to the left side. Manning's got it, slings it across. A wide throw, but a good stretch by Gutierrez, and there are two outs. Self trying to get one last pitch here. Off, Off the, the plate. And the game is extended. These are back, still have life. And here, here's a young lady who's been given a, a few free passes. Nia. The 2-1 pitch. Grounded right back to Burzon. She's got time to make the throw. She's on the money, and the Tigers get a 1-0 victory over Arkansas. Only seven hits in the game between these two teams, but the one run in the fifth was enough for LSU. Burzon does the trick, allows the Tigers to keep Arkansas at bay. Finally, the Tigers get the timely hit and avoid the sweep. And it was the RBI single by Sierra Briggs in the fifth inning that proved to be the difference. That along with the three-hit shutout pitching of Sidney Burzon. So LSU wins the last game of the series event and a much-needed victory for the Tigers. Yep. Uh, aggressive uh, base running by Beb Torina sending in that winning run.